knew this was gonna happen. I wear a high neck top, it looks like I don't have a neck. That should be my next video, like how to not, not have a neck. Okay, it's fine, it's like just an illusion, whatever. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are talking about how to illusion, how to make yourself look taller. And I'm not even talking about like in Instagram photos or anything like that. I'm just talking about kind of an everyday life. I get asked all the time how tall I am. I am 5'5", five five, and people are always so shocked. They're like, I thought you were 5'10", and I'm like, no, it's just an illusion. It is angles, it is the way you dress yourself. So some of you guys might be like, why are you filming this video? You are not short. I don't think it matters how tall you actually are. You can always make your body an illusion and make it appear something that it's not. So I thought I would um, share with you guys some of my tips and tricks on how to make myself look elongated in certain ways. So even though in this video I am kind of wearing the same thing over and over, don't think just because I'm wearing these basic items that it just applies to that. Um, this is just kind of a starting point for you and you can kind of take these outfits that I'm wearing which are very basic and kind of transform them into your lifestyle and into your everyday wardrobe. For the first tip, pretty basic, high rise versus mid rise or low rise. If you're trying to elongate your body, low rise and mid rise is never a good idea. It's going to make your legs look way shorter than they actually are so I always opt for a high rise because it does make your legs look sky high, miles long. And high rise doesn't have to mean like going over your belly button. I definitely have some very subtle high rise jeans. So they are out there. I know Urban Outfitters and like Gap and Topshop, they make great high rise jeans as well as Zara. The ones I'm wearing in the video are actually Zara. My next tip I have for you is to be more monochrome versus color block. And the reason this is is because when you are wearing two different colors, the color change kind of chops off your body. Even if you are wearing a high rise, Definitely high rise helps, but it kind of just chops off your body and then it like starts over. So when you're wearing all one color, whether it be all white or all black, it just kind of all runs together and just makes you look super long. This could be um, nudes, like you could be wearing white jeans and like a nude top. It doesn't have to be the exact same color, but as long as it's kind of in the same color family, like if you were wearing uh, black jeans and maybe like a gray top, so, you know, don't think you need to be like all blacked out or all whited out. Um, this is just kind of a small tip. The next tip I have is don't roll your jeans. And I, it kills me because I've seen so many people say, rolling your jeans will make you look taller. It definitely won't, like not at all. It actually makes your legs look shorter because you have that bulge at the bottom and it kind of just like gives your leg like a halt. Like it just stops right there. And then your shoe, and then there's like skin and then your shoe starts. like. Don't do that. Um, I recommend if you have a great pair of jeans, they fit you awesome, but you need to roll them in order for the length to be right, just take the time and go get them hemmed. Um, if you invest a certain amount of money in a pair of jeans, make sure that you're gonna get wear out of them and they're gonna make you look good. So just take the time and the money and invest in, in your denim and get them hemmed to the right length. Also, when you do have a pair of skinny jeans, make sure they are skinny all the way to the bottom because I do like to fold them over my shoe if I'm wearing a tighter sock boot. This will make you look longer um, because there's no stopping point between your foot and your leg. It just kind of keeps going all the way down. This is your boot height with a dress. And I just pulled a short dress just so I can show you guys like what your leg looks like, the illusion of your leg when you're wearing three different types of boot height. I recommend either doing nothing at all or going all the way, meaning wear a short, tight around the ankle, ankle boot, or a knee or over the knee boot. Don't wear something that's in the middle because that is gonna cut your leg right in the middle at the most unflattering part and just make your legs look so much shorter. So as you can see from the three examples, the middle one is just like a no-go. It definitely cuts you off. It doesn't make you look as long. And I either say definitely do an ankle boot, but if you wanna go for it, do a high boot. Um, especially something that's tighter and skinnier. I know I'm wearing kind of a white shaft leather boot, but if you have a tight over the knee boot, that also helps tremendously. Because again, it looks like it's part of your leg. Next is your dress length. So if you are worrying about looking shorter and if you are very petite and you wanna make yourself look longer, I would just stay away from those mid length hems because they, like I've said before, just completely cut you off. Like your body's like go, 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 and then just stops right there. Um, especially if it's kind of a wider dress, like there's no shape to it, you can't see the shape of your body, I would definitely stick with something that's shorter or something that's longer. And if you are gonna wear something mid-length, make sure you have a belt so you can actually see where your waist is and that will help 
your leg look longer. But as you can see, uh, definitely a shorter dress gives you more of a body and um, you kind of get lost in the mid-length dress, especially the shape. This is one of my favorite dresses, but it is absolutely the worst shape of dress for making you look tall. It definitely cuts you off, but I love it so much. So I'll wear it anyway. So next is a jacket. You know, we still are in colder weather, so I am incorporating some jackets even if they are lighter. This one right here. And as you can see, when you do wear a jacket that is like wide open, um, you, it doesn't give you shape, it doesn't give you a waist, you can't see where your legs end, and it's just kind of all over the place. So I always opt for jackets, especially like trench coats and army style jackets like this one that have a belt, and if they don't, you can always add your own belt. I think that looks really chic anyways, when you like unexpectedly throw a belt over a coat, I think it looks perfect. Now some coats you can't do it, like your wool coats and stuff, it's kind of hard to belt. Um, it can be done, but the easiest belt uh, coats to belt are these types that are lighter, like a trench coat. Um, because it just gives you a waist, you can see where, it, it makes your legs look like they stop where the belt is because, you know, that's just kind of where the eye goes, it's right to the middle and it makes your legs look super long. So when you are wearing a jacket of some sort, definitely try to belt it. I understand sometimes like the main goal of the jacket is just to stay warm and I get that. And if you're just trying to get from point A to point B without freezing your butt off, then like, who cares? But um, most like puffer jackets, there are options for belts, especially puffer jackets, because you get so lost in those. Um, I definitely recommend some sort of tie at the waist. So next is a shorter jacket, and I wanted to talk about cropped versus just kind of a mid-length jacket. And I think these types of jackets that kind of stop mid-butt or right above your butt are just so unflattering if you're trying to make yourself look taller. They make your legs look shorter because it looks like your leg stops where the jacket stops. So that's why I always recommend more of a crop jacket. And this goes for even if you are wearing a dress, um, you know, a crop jacket with a longer dress is always like a recommendation that I have if you're trying to look taller, just because, you know, it does make your legs look like the end where the jacket ends. So it's all about illusion and where the eye stops. Um, it just makes you look a lot longer. A lot of you guys wear button downs for work, even though this doesn't apply to just a button down, this can apply to any top. Anything that's boxy and mid-length, kind of like the previous denim jacket, is gonna cut you off. So again, we wanna accentuate the waist, and I just kinda wanted to show you guys that you can belt just a random top, like you don't have to just belt a jacket, um, or like belt a dress, you can always belt a top, and I think people forget about that, but I do think it is super stylish. Um, to just add some sort of accessory and also make yourself look longer at the same time. So now we are gonna talk about shoes and obviously a nude shoe is going to make you look taller versus a plain black shoe um, because it is skin tone. So it kind of, especially something with a little bit of a heel, um, it'll definitely make you look longer because you your eye doesn't go directly to the floor and it doesn't stop your leg right where the black starts. So, if you are um, concerned about your shoe, like how do I look longer if I'm wearing a pencil skirt, because mid-length tighter dresses that you wear to work can cut you off. So I always recommend doing a nude shoe because it just makes your legs look so much longer. Now, straight leg jeans can be your best friend or your worst enemy. They can make you look so unflattering or you can just like kill it and look awesome in straight leg jeans. So my recommendation for a straight leg jean, if you are still where you're wearing booties right now, it's still cold where you are, I recommend doing a tighter, a uh, skin tight ankle boot with a little bit of a heel, I think that's the most flattering versus something that is flat, round toe, and bulky around the ankle. You always wanna stay away from that. If you are getting into warmer weather, always do something that shows the front of your foot. So nothing that straps around your ankle, um, nothing that just has like a lot going on on the foot. You wanna make sure that when you are wearing straight leg jean, your eye doesn't automatically like see so much going on at the bottom, like buckles and straps and all of that because it will cut you off. So I like to do something with a little bit of heel, a new color, no ankle strap, just so minimal, and that can really help you out when you're wearing straight leg jeans. And lastly, if you are wanting to look taller, always a high waist, wide leg, super long pant will do the trick no matter what. I have like six pairs of these and I'm just obsessed because I just think they are so flattering and they just make your legs look so long they're comfortable because usually they have a stretchy waistband, they're super flowy. So this is a go-to pant of mine when I'm going to a meeting or when I'm doing a photo shoot. I think this is just a great option. And um, you can wear even like a low heel and it makes the world of difference. I think it makes your waist look slimmer. Um, you can wear a crop jacket with it. There's just so much you can do, but I think we're always afraid to buy these wide leg high-waisted pants because you're like, am I ever gonna wear those? They're kind of crazy. 
so they are a little bit outside of some of your comfort zones, but um, if you just kind of do a basic top, something like this, I think, on top, you'll be safe. Um, but yeah, play with it a little bit. Jazz hands. <laughs> That is it for this tips video. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed it and I hope you learned something new. I know some of these were super basic like I told you, but um, I hope you learned something. I'm talking so fast today because I just had my coffee and I just got over this terrible cold slash flu. So um, I'm like feeling, so, <laughs> feeling, feeling better today. Um, kind of hyper. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys loved it and Definitely sign up for the LBH magazine. Sign up to close tomorrow. So today is your last day to sign up and the link will be below. What it is, is my team and I put together a monthly digital magazine and it's basically like tips and tricks like this. We put together outfits for you. You can shop it directly from the magazine. We have an app, just so convenient. Um, we have beauty. We have like tips from other influencers and bloggers. So it's a pretty cool thing. And you get to be a part of this amazing Facebook community as well with like all of these really cool women. And uh, yeah, it's a fun place to be. It's where, the cool, it's where the cool people are. <laughs> so yeah, go sign up for that and uh, let me know if you guys are still loving these tips videos. I only know what I know, so if, if I'm you know, saying something that doesn't quite make sense or you don't agree, let me know in the comments um, because you know I love learning new things, especially from you guys because such a wide, wide variety and wide range of women that watch my channel. I think that's pretty cool. So I like learning from you guys as well. And um, let me know what you want to see next. And yep, yeah, I'll see you in my next video. It should be a vlog. Actually, I think it's the next department hunting series. So uh, I think that's going live this week. So yeah, all right. I'll see you guys later. Bye.